Welcome back, Jim Bernard's off tonight, and the good news, we had some nice, sunny, clear skies today here along Humboldt Bay in Eureka. Sun was shining bright all day, not a lot of clouds, but I'm sure as you've noticed, it is cold out there, and I mean cold. Uh, overnight, Eureka saw 29, 28 degrees, which ties a record set back in 1978, so that just gives you an idea how cold it is out there. Now, temperature-wise, today's highs, we didn't even reach the 50s anywhere on the map. Crescent City saw 45, Oryx saw the same, Trinidad came close to 50 at 48, uh, McKinleyville saw 46, and Humboldt Bay, 45 was the high today. If you head inland, even cooler, Neyland, 36 today, and look at Mount Shasta, looking like the Midwest. They came at a 25 degrees today. And now let's move on to our uh, Pacific Satellite Radar, and you can see those big cloud masses hanging out along the, uh, right off the coast there. It's expected to bring some more rain this week, and you see the big green blob in the southern half of the state. Now, that was a big front that uh, missed us for the most part, but it slammed into the Bay Area and L.A. They saw lots and lots of rain today, and while we were supposed to get some today, at least that's what some maps were telling us last week, we luckily... Yeah. Missed out for the most part, but as we can see in that 48 hour, those clouds are going to be keeping their distance from the coast, but you can see that big green blob making its way towards us, and so expect to see some showers starting on Wednesday night, and uh, luckily though, a lot of that stuff swung south on us, so we didn't see a lot of rain, and made for a pleasant, but once again, very cool weekend, and kind of a cloudy day across the country today, stretching all the way from southern part of the state all the way to the northeastern part of the country. Uh, rain showers are not a lot. Uh, parts of the south, um, Texas and Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama saw some rain showers today and the same in the uh, southwestern part of the country, Arizona and New Mexico, but clear skies in the Pacific Northwest, but I think all in all the word cold is a good way to describe it today for the country. New York saw 40, D.C. Uh, feared 4 degrees warmer at 44, but even the south, Atlanta 50, Memphis 50, Dar Dallas didn't even reach 50 today. Houston, on the other hand, saw 60, New Orleans pushing 70, and once again, kind of makes you wish you were in Miami. Manny, you got to get a game down there, go uh, shoot a game down there. On that. <laughs> Minneapolis 24, Pierre 16 degrees today, so very cool in the upper Midwest, and 30s along the Pacific Northwest, and 47 was the high in the bay today. Take a look at overnight lows, and... It's going to be well below freezing out there, so uh, make sure you bundle up if you're headed outside Brookings. Expect to see 23 for your overnight low, Crescent City, 29, 26 in Ort, Trinidad, uh, 29, and 26, 28, and 27, respectively, for McKinleyville on south. And if you're heading in, look at Mount Shasta, single digits tonight, 7 degrees. Uh, the upper Midwest has nothing on us today. Medford, Oregon, 9 degrees is your overnight low, so... Uh, be very, very careful if you're headed outdoors. And tomorrow's highs, it's going to be just as cool. 43 for Trinidad, uh, 45 for McKinleyville and Humboldt Bay area, 46 in Fortuna, and still cool And if you push inland. Now let's take a look at that seven-day plan, and there you can see those rain showers making their way towards us Thursday on through the weekend is what we're expecting to see them. Temperature-wise, we're not going to see much of a warm-up. Uh, Mid-50s, if we're lucky, if we're lucky by the end of the week. Overnight lows, though, expect upper 30s to low 40s. And let's take a look at our seven-day inland. Same for rain, except expected to hold off till Friday for the inland areas, but temperature-wise, it'll be a few degrees cooler. 40s for the week, if we're uh, lucky. At the end of the week, you'll see the 50s. Otherwise, overnight lows. Look at that, low teens to low 20s, except for on Sunday. You might see it come back into the 30s, so make sure you get your jackets. Now let's look at tonight's third year contestant, Nolan Bennett from Eureka. Congratulations. Oh, excuse me, you're playing for $90 tonight. Tomorrow. <laughs> or tomorrow night. <laughs> there we go, 90 degrees tomorrow night. So uh, if you're lucky, Nolan, hopefully it'll warm up a little bit so you win that money. You, if you want to contest to play tonight, you can donate your money. Uh, I'm a little short tonight, so I'll leave that one to you, Manny. All right, tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Manny, we're talking about HSU basketball tonight. Yeah, the women's basketball team uh, back home again tomorrow night. Of course, uh, later in the week, they'll be hosting their own tournament. We'll return tonight. Baseball general managers gather for the winter meetings, and the high school basketball tournament season is underway. Stay with us. Sports is next.